Melissa Mendoza. And why are you here protesting at the plaza? Well, um, Ethan, there is a heroin epidemic in Santa Fe. And um, we have asked city council if they would give us a citywide meeting on the subject. Um, and that was about seven weeks ago, and to date we have yet to hear from them. So what we really want to do is just um, raise awareness about the heroin problem. We want to demand our citywide meeting so that we can start coming together as a community and um, developing solutions to the problem. What do you think some of the solutions could be? And how big is the problem here in Santa Fe? There was a report that came out yesterday that New Mexico has the second highest rate of drug overdoses in the country. Um, it is out of control um, problem. It. I had um, a client a month ago who um, overdosed on heroin and was thrown behind a dumpster. Uh, my spouse is a recovering heroin addict. Um, I do shelter work, and so all of these people, families that are coming into shelters, the drug addiction is, uh, is apparent. So um, I would say in Santa Fe, you could probably talk to any person on the street, and they know someone um, who is suffering from the problem. So it is it's a major problem. I talked to a city councilor just now who said that she doesn't think it's as much of a problem in her district, but do you think it's a whole citywide problem? Absolutely, it's a citywide problem. Um, and it's not just... The, the issue is the drugs. Um, that's the only issue. Immigration isn't the issue. The people coming in isn't the issue. Um, the environment, although very important, it's not um, the issue at the moment. It's a public health issue. Um, there are children in the high schools that are addicted to heroin. There is an 18-year-old female that I met um, who is on drug court, pregnant, and she's addicted to heroin. So it's not just the elderly people or the older people up in Chimayo anymore. It is the people um, here in the city, our children, in our schools, in our high schools, in our junior highs. Is there any positive work be, being done to address a problem that could be done on a larger scale if people got involved? Absolutely. Um, there is a program that um, several uh, people have formed a committee. It's called the LEAD program. And what the LEAD program is for is when people are arrested for um, drug um, related incidents, instead of going straight into jail, into booking, they're given an option to go to treatment. Um, I don't know if this is for first-time offenders or repeat offenders, but I feel that both would be necessary in order to start getting people help. So yes, that, that's a program that's in the works um, as we speak. I know um, Bill, Judge Bill Dimas, who's running for mayor, um, is in support of that program, so mm -hmm. I believe he's working with them on that also. That's a city program? Yes. Citywide cool. program. Um, any other ideas that you have or positive, positive solutions? Um, I think right now the biggest thing is to raise awareness. Um, I don't feel that many people, including city council members, acknowledge that there is a problem. Um, to even start fixing it, we need to acknowledge it. Um, I don't have a solution mm -hmm. that is a fix-all, but I feel that if we can come together, that we can come up with the solution. So would you like to do something like hold a town hall forum where different Absolutely. candidates could come and show, speak out and show that they care and, and talk about some ideas? Yes. And I would love for the, the people here in Santa Fe to be able to also speak on it um, to their experience, what they're seeing in their neighborhoods, um, so that it, it shows this is real. It's, mm -hmm. it's not just hearsay. Has Mayor Cost done anything? No. Mayor Koss, um, I have yet to hear from. Um, again, this is fairly new. I just started this about a week ago, so it's new. Um, but we have had, uh, Chief Rael was out here. Uh, he gave a little speech, but I've yet to hear from Mayor, uh, Mayor Koss or anyone from City Council. About a year ago, um, there was an event at the convention center with Representative Ben Ray Lujan, mm -hmm. and actually the drugs are. And there was a lot of community people there, and it, there was um, also a panel discussion on the stage. Mm -hmm. And what really resonated with me is the 
a lot of people on the stage and the audience were saying our solutions, supposed solutions, throwing people in jail and criminalizing the problem, it's, no. it's not working and we need more and, and sensitivity to the families, to the community. Absolutely. And even, even the drugs are was saying that, but how do we implement that on the ground is the big question. Right. That is the big question. And I think it starts with families coming together. I think it starts with the community coming together, um, bringing people in, um, helping, developing a resource list to give to people, those types of things, because it isn't going to work to criminalize it. Um, it isn't going to work to throw people behind bars. I have heard stories from, from my husband about the drug problem inside the jail. So throwing people in jail is not going to Throwing people in the jails isn't going to fix anything at all. Um, we really need to start at the bottom with the people on the streets, the people who are being affected, and really talk to them and ask them what they need so that we can develop a solution to help them. Any other things you want to say? I just want to um, thank you, first of all, for giving me the opportunity to speak, and, um, and I'm just grateful for everybody coming out today. Thank you. Thank Great you. seeing you out here. Thanks. About 20 people here, and I'll do a quick uh, shot of the signs. Be smart, don't start. Heroin not a problem according to City Council. Heroin is devil. Thanks. Punk for no drugs. Yeah. 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 Yeah.